Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a very interesting recipe. I'm going to show you how to make candied white pine needles. Now I have white pine needles that we've grown from tiny tiny trees and they're enormous trees now. And these guys have beautiful long slender needles like this and if you didn't know pine is actually quite edible. Um, it's quite a nice flavor and it's very holiday-esque. I'm going to use these candied um, pine needles for on top of a beautiful zesty orange cheesecake tomorrow. And I've already started candying some orange peel and that's going to be delicious. I'm just waiting on them. So I'm going to get these guys started. So pine especially is particularly high in vitamin C. In fact, if you made a cup of pine needle tea, it has five times more vitamin C than lemon. Okay? Like, wow. So it has vitamin C, vitamin A, it has quercetin, it has uh, flavonoids, anthocyanins, and a bunch of volatile oils that are really great for respiratory problems like coughs and flus and things like that. It makes you feel better. In the Alps, they use it. They used to use it and they still use it um, in mattresses, pine needles for rheumatism as well as um, preventing lice and fleas and ticks and things. So. It's very beneficial to you. Also, they've done studies in Russia and China. It's antifungal, it's antibacterial, it's anti-everything. Antioxidant, antiviral, antifungal, anti-aging. Helps weight, cholesterol, and high blood pressure. Relieves sore, aching muscles. Stimulates the liver. It's astringent for the bladder. It's relaxing to the mind and stress relieving. And helpful in restoring overall balance to the body. So, if you haven't ever tried pine, Go ahead and try it. Make sure it's nice and clean. I've washed it off. And I have a pot of water here that's still not boiling. I'm going to throw these guys in. And I'm actually going to boil these guys up for about five minutes. And then I'm going to get this simple syrup prepared while I'm waiting for this. Okay, so this has come up to a boil. I'm turning it down to a simmer for five minutes. So to get my simple syrup going, I'm going to use a ratio of two to one sugar to water. So I'm going to measure out two cups of sugar. And I'm going to add one cup of water. So I'm going to stir the sugar to dissolve it, and I'm going to bring that up to a boil. And I'm going to let that simmer for five minutes once it comes to a boil. You want it to slightly change in color to a little bit of an amber color. So my simple syrup is nearly there. It has been uh, bubbling, bubbling for about three minutes, but my pine needles are ready to take out. So I'm just going to remove them to a plate. And now you can use that liquid for your pine needle tea, which is high in vitamin C. I'm just getting my candied orange peel um, prepared here at the same time. So I'm gonna let this syrup go for just a couple more minutes. I want it to change in color to be a little bit amber, and then we'll put those pine needles into the simple syrup. Okay, so my syrup is slightly amber in color now, and I'm just going to put my whole branches straight into that syrup, and we're gonna let it go for maybe between 10 and 20 minutes. So I'm gonna check it at 10, and I'm gonna actually just try one of the needles and see what the texture is, and we'll decide if we wanna go further. So get these completely immersed in that syrup. And I'm gonna turn that down to just a simmer. You don't want it just boiling everywhere. You want it to simmer. And set your timer. Now these have been going for about 12 minutes, and I've already taken one of these little needles out to try, but I'm going to see if I can find another one. Let's just spray. Pull it out. It's a surprising texture that you'll be surprised at if you've never had pine needle. And they're a little bit crispy, crunchy, and that's beautiful. They're fun to eat. It's a nice texture. Here you go. And my mom, I don't know if you can see it, my mom tried it and she's like, wow, that's nothing like I expected it to be. But I'm going to let these guys go for maybe another eight more minutes. I'm going to let them go the full 20. Oh, they're like jelly. They're so beautiful. Mmm. Man, that's good. Anyhow, it's really exciting. So I'm going to let these guys go for just a couple more minutes and you'll see me in a minute. Okay, these have been going for 20 full minutes. Make sure that they are totally soaked before I take them out of here. I'm actually going to use a um, tongs because you want to try and find them by that stem that you have part of that branch. And these are kind of wet. <laughs> so you're going to let them just dry out on a cooling rack over top of some parchment or a silicone sheet. And I'm just going to spread these needles a little bit ever so gently. You don't want to break anything off. You want it to kind of stay as intact as you can. But separate them. They look great. Now is your best chance to try and separate them because later you're going to 
I have to toss them in some sugar and uh, it's all going to be stuck. They're almost going to look like pine branches with snow on them and that's what my goal is here. They're hardening up pretty quickly. And that's really cool. So you got to work kind of quick. You can see this is kind of hard already. It's kind of like a pine brittle. Cool is that? that little branches taste. Yum. Mmm. So don't get rid of this syrup. You can use it to sweeten things. Um, you can put it in your tea instead of sugar. You can use it in your beer. It's very nice. Um, all different things. You might be very creative and figure out something else. Okay, these are drying pretty quickly. So while these are just a little bit sticky still, I'm going to toss them in sugar. Okay? Get that sugar attached as best you can. And there you go, candied white pine needles, gorgeous. And I'm going to let these guys dry for 24 hours-ish, and I'm going to use them on top of that cheesecake. The sugar on top of there looks like snow, freshly fallen snow, love it, what a cool idea. There you are, lovely, right? Absolutely gorgeous, you can see that. Oh, these little pieces left behind, they are so tasty. Mmm. Man, that's good. Mm-hmm. Well, these are pretty awesome, and that's how you do it. That's how you candy white pine needles, and they're edible, they're beautiful, they're gonna be so impressive on my cheesecake tomorrow. And that's it, all right? I hope that you try it out. You can use pretty much any variety of pine you could think of, and uh, you can have some very similar um, results, okay? I like using the long, wispy ones just because they're so darn pretty. Anyhow, ready? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world. All right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.